our Sunday morning milepost, a lasting impression from a foregone first of May. The season actually begins in March, but there was a time this day marked the true spring awakening, May Day. And it was here long before any association to arms or the military or intimidating superpowers. At its center, the Maypole. Perhaps you recall it. Maybe you even danced around one. The tradition spans centuries and continents, with its origins as varied as the costumes. Popular at campgrounds as well as campuses, the Maypole even did a cameo on the lawn of the White House. You can also find the Maypole on the cover of magazines, The New Yorker, Vanity Fair, Better Homes and Gardens. Here we come, keep going. These days, it's a faded custom, but in a few places across the country, there are signs of a comeback. In fact, at Bryn Mawr College near Philadelphia, it's never gone away. That's Katherine Hepburn when she was a Bryn Mawr student in 1928, performing in a May Day play. <laughs> 